Yo, what is up guys? I'm bringing you a brand new video and welcome to my Succession Wusa PvE guide. In this video, I'm going to take you through the sustained damage combo on the class as well as burst damage. This video was largely taken from Dead Pixel's text guide that he made, which I am going to be linking his YouTube video in the description. I wanted to put it in a video form so it's a little bit easier to follow for you guys that are brand new to the class. And I also have a really useful way to follow it, which is basically setting up my UI exactly as I have it here. Um, I suggest that you set up your UI as well this way because the video is broken down into four different parts of your combo. You've got your pre-buff, which is the first three abilities, your burst damage number one, which is these three abilities, burst damage number two, which is these three, and then your sustained damage slash getting back your cooldown ability, which is just your shift Q. Those particular abilities can be found right here. You've got Fan Kick, Cloud Carve, Cloud Rise. Then you've got uh, Chrysanth, Plum, and Swirl. And then for burst damage number two, you've got Stab Strike, Orchid, and Thunderstroke. And then, of course, we've got Stormfall as our last ability there in the list. Another useful thing, if you guys need to know the names of the abilities, as I'm saying the key combos um, right here, Prime Fan Kick appears when I do F. When I do SF, it's Cloud Carve. So you can follow along with what the names of the abilities are directly right there. And you can see the key combos on the screen right here. So here's how this combo sort of shakes down. You're going to hit F, S, F, Shift, R, and B, and then iframe to the side as your pre-buff. So these three abilities are your pre-buff. And the reason you iframe at the, at the end there to the side is because this ability has an animation lock that can be canceled. After that, your next burst combo is going to be Shift F, S L M B into Shift L M B, and that's going to be your next three abilities. Then, of course, you've got E. You hold W E into S E. So once this ability goes on cooldown, you can then hit S E. And then from there, if you of course have your Shift Q, which is an ability to get your cooldowns back. Another really useful thing during this combo is whenever you have the chance, you're going to want to hold spacebar in order to do wing beat twice. Wing beat is an ability that does a lot of damage, whether on or off cooldown. And it's something that I do weave into the combo quite often, whether it is on or off cooldown, depending on the situation that I'm in. It's a really good DPS fill if I'm just running out of cooldowns and I really need something. So basically, you can notice how the, uh, the combo follows a very sequential order, and that's why I like my UI this way. You start off with your pre-buff, and from there you can go into a wing beat, and you do your burst damage number one, you can do your burst damage number two, then you can go pre-buff again, and then go into your shift Q. And that is basically what a full combo looks like. By the time your shift Q is over, all of your abilities are essentially back available to be used, and their cooldowns are restored, and that's something that you can basically do infinitely. However, if you do have attack speed buffs, let's say your Z buff is up or you have shy buffs, it's totally appropriate to throw in a double space bar. So you just hold space bar till it does wing beat twice wherever you see fit. Additionally, you can space bar into C and then space bar again if you really need more cooldown slots or like more cooldown space between your combos. That's a very, very decent way to uh, recuperate your cooldowns. But this is what a combo would look like on an actual monster. And I'm going to be doing it on Olin because they are quite tanky. To show you what a long sustained damage combo looks like. But just watch the cooldowns and notice how I do them in sequence. So we're going to start with our pre-buff tree there. We're going to wing beat twice. We do our DPS burst number one. Then we can do our DPS burst number two. Then we can do our pre-buff again into shift Q. Now this is over, so we're going to iframe into wing beat twice. We're going to pre-buff again. And we're going to go into DPS burst number one. We can go into DPS burst number two. Get our pre-buff off. We're going to space bar twice into shift Q. Once we come out of that, we can space bar twice. We can do our pre-buff. And then we go into DPS burst number one. DPS burst number two. Pre-buff. And notice we have no cooldown, so we wing beat twice. And then we can shift Q. I-frame to the side. We do our pre-buff. Then we go into DPS burst number one. DPS burst number two. Rebuff. Then we're going to wing beat twice. We're going to hit C. And then we're going to go directly into our shift Q. Because we needed to hit C there because we ran out of abilities. We'll wing beat again. Go into our pre-buff. We're going to go into our DPS burst number one. Into our DPS burst number two. And then our pre-buff. 
and then wing B twice, shift Q, end it off. So you can see kind of how things go. As soon as the first ability in the pre-buff comes off, you know that you can do the next one. Similarly, when in, in this DPS burst number one, it, once this ability is off cooldown, you know the other two are. Once this ability is off cooldown, you know these two are as well. So essentially, all you have to do is just continuously look at these cooldowns. And if this tree is available, you do this tree. If this tree is available, you do this one. If this one's available, you do this one. And you can interchange the order. So if you're like with a shy and you're also Z buff, sometimes you'll do DPS burst number two first. And sometimes you'll do DPS burst number one second. It all just kind of depends on what's available on cooldown at the time. You basically want to have everything on cooldown at all times, and your priority is the higher up abilities on the list, and your least priority is going to be this last shift Q. You want to use this as sparingly as you can. The last thing that's going to be a little bit more advanced, which is not really that you know necessary to sort of think about right now, but your tier three add-ons are your shift Q and this particular one here, the shift RMB. So Cloud Rise and your shift Q, Stormfall. Those abilities there are your tier three add-ons, so you don't really want to use them back to back if you can avoid it. You generally want to space them out as best you can. So if you're doing a grind like Dekia Olin's, where you're doing a lot of sustained damage, or you're doing like, you know, some high-end grind spot that requires more than just one uh, rotation of your abilities, keep in mind that you don't want to pair these two together. So this combo is designed to not pair them together initially, but they can end up getting paired together sometimes after a very long amount of DPS over a long period of time. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, but other than that, you basically know the exact combo, and that's all you really need to know to be quite successful in the class. I hope that this was useful. I hope this was straightforward. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support and all the subscriptions to the channel. We're almost at 23,000. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.